In today's video, I review a new financial app called Digit. It provides FDIC insured bank accounts with a debit card. And while the debit card doesn't come with a cashback benefit, the account is unique in that it helps automate your savings, investing, and bill pay, which is a huge benefit if you're a natural spender. Natural spender right here. And it's got a super simple interface for people who don't like overcomplication. Non overcomplicator right here, making it the simplest non budget budget app that I've seen. 2020 vision here. Let me break it down. So the coolest thing about Digit is it helps automate your finance by moving money into any of three categories, savings, investing, and bills. Let's start with bills. Many people have difficulty paying bills from month to month. Sometimes it's because they don't have enough money coming in, but sometimes it's simply because they aren't good at budgeting out their money properly. Digit helps by saving back money for bills every day. Simply set up each bill type, the day of the month that it's due, and how much you expect it'll cost. Then Digit does the work to ensure that you have enough money saved by automatically doing it for you. A couple nice things about this. For one, it has a separate bucket for bills. So even though you have all of your money in your Digit app, it only shows you what you have in your spare spend bucket to protect the money that you actually need for expenses. It's kind of a mental game. Two, the bill bucket actually has a separate account number from the spend and save buckets. Because of this, Digit actually gives you a separate digital debit card number so that you can set up your auto bill pay. And then it'll know if a transaction was actually a bill or if it was just a purchase on your spend account. And if there's ever not enough money to pay your bills in your bill bucket, Digit will automatically move money over from your spend account to make sure your bills are covered. I really think the bill pay with Digit is pretty cool. I love that it'll actually save back the amount of money that you need for a bill by the time it's due. After prioritizing bill pay, Digit automatically sets aside money every day for savings, whether it's for a rainy day, a vacation, or maybe a home improvement. You can set up savings buckets for whatever you want, set the date that you want it saved by, and how much you want to save. And Digit will slowly move that money over from your spend account so that you have it saved by the date that you set. Check this out. I put about $200 in that account in November of last year. And every day since, Digit has moved into savings anywhere from 42 cents to $1.31, depending on how much money total is in the Digit account. So today it's got $87.74 in savings. And if you think it's saving too much, you can either pause savings or set a max daily savings limit. In addition to being able to move more money into savings if that's what you want. The last thing Digit helps you with is investing. But before we get into the unique way that they do it, we gotta thank our sponsor, Short advertising breaks. Okay, back to Digit. Digit handles investing in a different way. Most accounts like this offer stocks, bonds, and crypto to their account holders. But Digit limits their investing to ETFs, which stands for exchange traded funds. They're a much more balanced way of investing than by purchasing single stocks. And they have a low fee associated with investing in those funds, making it all included in the Digit fee, which we'll get to. The cool thing is Digit handles your investing in the same way that it handles your savings and preparing for a bill automatically. It looks at how much money you have coming in, what your bills are, how much you're saving, and automatically changes how much you invest based on how much you can afford to invest, taking all the headache out of trying to figure it out yourself. Not to mention if you need to, you can always pause your investing or set a max daily investing limit. The personalized nature of Digit's investing is that they ask you a question to determine your risk level. Then they set up your investing based on your risk tolerance. So your investments aren't overly aggressive for your personality or not aggressive enough. The best part is Digit also offers the ability to invest in traditional or Roth IRAs, the tax advantaged way of saving for retirement, which means you don't have to pay taxes on the front end or on the back end of your investing, depending on which route you go. Let me know in the comments if you say route or route. I think it's route because a root is part of tree, right? It's a lot of R's. The only trade off with the retirement account versus the investment account is you have to wait until you're 59 and a half to take any money out without any huge tax penalty. The important thing is Digit can help you start investing and do so automatically. Then you don't have to think about it and worry if it's gonna affect your finances too much because it's gonna change as your finances change. Now let's talk about the fee. Digit is $10 per month. Kind of expensive for a service that doesn't provide cash back or anything. But the important thing is if you're getting this account, then you're likely likely doing it for the automation aspect. Think about it this way. If you're a spender, you're naturally inclined to spend the money that's available in your account. Having Digit may help you save and invest way more just because you're moving money from your spending account to a place where you can't see it. The bill pay and savings part of the account. Out of sight, out of mind. And by getting you into regular savings and investing, that $10 per month may prove to be completely worth it because it gets you into a better situation financially in the future. Plus, if you have a regular problem paying your bills, Digit may help you get out of that rut and stabilize your money. Golly, it's raining <sighs> and it's cold. Too much rain and cold recently. There's one more thing to note. You can send checks to people through the app. I did that one time actually to my parents and it was super easy. Much nicer than having to actually cut a check and then put it in the mail and pay for a stamp. They got it about a week later in the mail and right after I scheduled the check, 
ditch it pretending like the money wasn't even in my account. That way I didn't have to keep a mental note that there was still a $100 check that was gonna be cashed. Overall, I think Digit is completely worth the $10 per month for the right person. I don't think it's built for everyone, but seriously, for spenders or people who just hate the complexity of money, Digit's built for you. Automation may save your financial life if you take it seriously. I'll put a link in the description down below if you decide you wanna sign up. Now, if you found this video helpful, then do me a favor and hit the like button because that'll really help my channel. And let me know what ways you automate your money. If you wanna see my own tips for automating your money, then check out this video up here. And if you wanna see my cashback debit card showdown where I compare eight different rewards debit cards, then check out this video down here. Not cool, too much rain.